So here on the promenade, with the playing of the Bee Gees in the background, very apt, we have the Brothers Gibb, who uh, I saw them um, putting it in the other day, and I, I tweeted a bit of a picture of the preview. The, the poor man was being strangled as they were putting him in, you know. I hope yeah, you were yeah, checking yeah. this. Because Andy, you're the sculptor, and you don't want to work on this. Yeah, yeah, no, we, we have to use those slings to kind of get them careful. We don't want to damage them, that's the thing. Oh. You know, they've travelled a long way to get here. They've travelled across the sea to come back. Now, your story is interesting, because this is some project that should have been off your books ages ago but of course with the, the shutdown of the Isle of Man you got yeah, stuck yeah. and I know you're very insistent you want to be here to make sure it went in right. Oh, no, well, they're, they're never going to leave me, they're always going to be with me for the rest of my life the Bee Gees yeah. and I'm really glad about that. Um, in fact it would be really sad to leave them in a couple of days when we have to go back but um, it's been a couple of, it's, I can't believe it, it's two years that this project's been going on and I've loved every minute of it, honestly, every second. Um, tell us how you go about it. Do you look at just photos? You, I mean, you, you obviously can't get a 3D effect. Can you do some photos? Is it, is yeah, yeah. My studio is like a teenager's bedroom. I've got every photo there ever was and every poster <laughs> all over the place. Shoes, boots, clothes, um, thousands, thousands of reference material. Uh, well, the soundtrack, you know, the back catalogue on constantly. Uh, I just try to immerse myself in that world, you know, because it's a kind of journalism that I do. It's kind of 3D journalism and people will look at these statues and wonder what kind of what, what did Morris wear and he wore cowboy boots and you can see you know the square toed type yeah. and uh, I've made sure that you know I've got as much detail as possible correct for people to you know feel like there's some authenticity. So tricky getting the likeness isn't it we've seen other statues unveiled recently large ones in I think about one in London that probably went mm, not quite sure if you caught them but these you definitely have caught that that, that look it, is it very tricky to do that? Um, well, you look at, you know, different photos of the same person and they all look different. So you've got to find something that what, what people think the Bee Gees look like as much as anything else. But I probably used video more, especially the video for um, Staying Alive. I, free, I freeze frame that, you know, so much of wore it out, that, that video. And you picked a certain genre, you know, because obviously they've been going a long time. Yeah, yeah. Where did you get that idea to go for that particular time piece? Well, I was 76 at the peak, weren't they? They were swaggering down the, the platform of that station, you know, like, like they owned the world, and they did, of course. And uh, that, you, you want that confidence, you know, you want people to see this and feel like you need to straighten your back a little bit and feel, yeah, you know, these lads came from here and they achieved what no one else has ever achieved. Six number ones in a row, matching the Beatles record. Yeah. Thousands of songs that everybody knows. Talk about the Beatles, you did one of those, I believe, in your time a few years ago. Yeah, the Beatles uh, um, are depicted leaving Liverpool just as the Bee Gees are arriving back on the island here. So uh, there's a nice connection there. Yeah. Now, of course, this is not the only one. I believe there's one in Australia. Did you have a look at that? A I have did, a yeah, at that? yeah. No, I was interested to see the way that other people. I always do. I see how, how, how people depict uh, the same subjects and. Um, I did consider, you know, using instruments because, of course, that's what they are primarily, the musicians, and incredible musicians. But um, I just think that it, it, where we are on Lock Promenade, it needs something interactive. And this statue will only look right when there are people around it, you know, walking alongside, having the pictures taken. It's at ground level, so they're, they're of the people. So I think that the decision to, to not use instruments but to just use those as, as the personalities and the brothers in step, in rhythm, was the right one. It looks great. Now, there's one last question. How do you stop pigeons getting too happy or seagulls getting too happy about sitting on these things? Well, these things evolve. You know, I, I'm, I'm as, as close as we are, how close we are to the sea there, I can't see them not going uh, the same colour as the Statue of Liberty after too long. Right. Um, but, you know, we, we, we'll be back to clean them regularly, so don't worry too much about that. And uh, people will be having their pictures taken in here. This will be part of Douglas, I suppose, and that's the idea, isn't it? Hopefully, hopefully it'll become a landmark. You know, it's a great introduction as you come off the ferry. It's one of the first things you'll see a few hundred yards away from the terminal. What a lovely thing to be greeted by, these three natives of the island.